What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 21 of my Gainsborough Trinity Football Manager 2018 Lower League Management Series. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up if you want to be seeing more of this. Let's try and hit 100 likes if you want to be seeing more. And also... Uh, the FC United match, which was in the FA Trophy, that was initially going to be this episode. I actually recorded that, uh, and I'll just mention a little bit here, like, again, uh, alluded to it, like, with the likes and what uh, whatnot. Uh, if you could leave a thumbs up, that would be great, but I probably talked about it too much, not that specifically, but just the general interest of lower league management series as a whole, um, and this series and ones I did previously and why I stopped them in the past <laughs> is similar to the reasons now, but... Um, no, because I look back on one of my older videos last year, actually, and I did a vote if people wanted to still see lower league management, and people said no, the majority said no, and I said, if that was the case, I'm not going to do <laughs> many more in the future, or yeah, I'm not going to do those series more in the future, and I'm doing it the next year, so, but yeah, I talked about that a little bit too much, so I just want to focus on playing a game and get out, uh, get the video out to you guys. Um, a couple of losses we got away from home, uh, you see they're not ideal, we'll just go through them. Uh, ben Adamson... He scored in that match there, and then he got sent off in the last minute, so that was a pretty intense game. Well, not really intense, just a lot of action for him, and talk about a lot of action there that I'm not happy about conceding six goals, but again, if you put it into just comparison for the whole season, uh, we've done all right, and chances are, to be fair, there's still an opportunity to finish first, but hey, we're a newly promoted side. I feel, though, player quality-wise, like, what do you guys think for Vanarama National League? I think our team is right up there as one of the better teams. Like, with my transfers, I think I've done all right there. So, uh, I signed Alex Penny uh, on a loan from Peterborough, our parent club. So, as you can see from his attributes, he's fairly well round. I thought if it's we're going to be in the playoffs, I think he's going to be an important player for us. So, yeah, guys, we're just going to get into this next episode um, and into the next game. So, if you want to see more, like I said, uh, make sure to uh, leave your feedback. Another thing with the comments as well. I have, Like, last episode, got three comments. Three. And one of them was saying, upload Wolves. Uh, so maybe that's <laughs> what I should focus on. Uh, yeah, that's a big... Mostly the comments are the biggest thing because that's where I get the motivation from you guys. But like I said, not going to focus on it so much. Unfortunately, we can't play Luke Worley here, so we're just going to take him off. Tom Elliott will make the bench. Uh, should he start, though? And I've just adjusted this a little bit so you can see a bit more of the condition. You can actually see the physical condition there and the match sharpness. You yeah, just have to judge by that middle little circle there. But just so you see the percentage of their actual... Uh, physical condition for the upcoming match is still pretty important, I feel. So yeah, we just need to make that little uh, little change, and I'm happy. I'm happy with the squad strength. If you just look at the ability of the stars, yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. So now, anyone, anyone else? Uh, Sam Foster. We haven't played him too much. Mostly his ratings there. He's yeah, he's played. <laughs> what, three games? He's got three starts, a couple goals. Hey, from that, he's done all right, but this is yeah, away from home. I just want to make sure I get the result here, play a strong side. So, yeah, I think... Oh, then I think about Tom Elliott. But then we've got still, like, other four-star players, <laughs> four-star ability uh, in the center mid. Ball. Both ball-winning midfielders, that springs to mind, though. Jack Hunter will take off, actually, Tom Elliott, because then he could be deep-line playmaker... So, yeah, I think we'll go with that, and we'll see how this match goes, pretty much. So, guys, what I'm considering with this, like, what I've been thinking, another thing I mentioned in the previous episode is, I won't talk about as much as I did in that, though. I mean, the one I recorded, <laughs> and I'm doing this one instead for episode 21, uh, just the fact of, like, FIFA 19 will come around quick. Like, at the moment, like, I'm getting an episode out maybe every five or six days, almost, like, every week only. It's just because of other things. Uh, but, um, yeah, like, a week will pass and another week will pass and it'll be suddenly only a month away till September because the months are going so quick. And, yeah, then suddenly FIFA 19 will be here and, you know, when the new FIFA game drops, uh, yeah, I just focus on that because that's where the high interest actually on my channel majority of growth on the channel is when fifa like the new fifa game is out so that's why i struggle to uh, focus uh, heavily on that so yeah hope to have a big uh, a big i suppose year in terms of that uh for the growth for the channel because of fifa 19 um hopefully uh let me know if you watch 
both my videos because I feel my like my videos for Football Manager don't get seen in searches and stuff. It's more so the FIFA <laughs> that <laughs> makes people see my channel because Football Manager, yeah, and it's not highly searched anyway uh, in comparison. So yeah, I'll stop talking about it now or I'll lead on to the, <laughs> the similar, to, <laughs> similar situation of <laughs> the one I recorded first, the FC United match. It was good to beat them though. Um, that is for sure. They've still struggled to get promoted. Oh, man. And it's actually the same case. They scored the first goal. So it's it's very reminiscent. The recording I've done today <laughs> for this episode, funnily enough, is very reminiscent. But uh, let's take a look at the replay here, though. We have to analyze this goal. How did we concede this? We have a, a guy with a knock, Oswell, who scored against us. So that is not very good for sure. So let's see, yeah, let's see if we're going to make another comeback. No, this is going to be a one that's going to be AIDS. Far, man. Deering, come on, miss. Nah, it's a goal. It's a goal. Ooh, Sam Deering, fifth goal of the season. We're going to have to make a big comeback from this position. A uh, good penalty by him. Keep it guess the right way, but not close enough to it. The pen was just too good. So at this point... Yeah, I told you, like, I've got to play the stronger side. So, come on, let's get a goal back. We are away from home, so it's a tough one. Reeves. Catton. Oh, Bloomfield! You got to score! That's a chance, mate. Come on. Come on, you got to take that. We've got to take our opportunities, eh? We've got majority of possession. They just had a couple chances and finished them. So, I feel, yeah, we haven't been the worst here. They've just taken their chances. There's no excuses, that is for sure. So, yeah, and we signed Alex Penny, like a new, better defender. So, come on, show me something else in the second half. Uh, we'll probably have to go tactically and change it up a bit. We're going to go attacking now and maybe forget about that retain possession stuff and go more direct. Yeah, not that play out of the... Um, yeah, play out of the... Uh, play Work the ball into the box, sorry. And, like, play out of defense. Not that kind of stuff. And we won't sit deeper. And go with a higher tempo. <laughs> That's usually the switch I look towards. And let's see if we will make a difference in this one here, guys. So this will probably be a shorter episode in compared to compared to most, because we're just going to do the one the one episode. I'm recording this later in the day for me in Australia. You might see it early, depending yeah where you're from. But yeah, I just want to get it out to you guys so I can get a <laughs> get a video out today. Because I was like, oh, I was ready to get one out today after playing the games off camera. Uh, but uh, I just have a feeling about this one. I've had games like this this season. Surprisingly, surprisingly, we've got a lot of results. Uh, good results, that is. But it's just one of these ones where we haven't looked like scoring, unfortunately. Even though I've tried to push a bit more attacking. So we better, we better see something. Come on, good intercepting there. We set up well. Ah, the balls are rubbish. We've got great strikers, but when we don't give them the service... Yeah, they're not really... Okay, so now we're going to go overload. Again, you know I'm one all for doing this like as soon as you can. Not too early, not like half time or something, but not like last 15, 10 minutes. You get one or two highlights is not enough. You need, yeah, you need more chances essentially and even shoot on site. Just you get it right in there and yeah, uh, go route one. That's what we've got to do right now. Uh, and the wide players out on the wing, uh, we're going to look to play them uh, more attacking in their roles. And uh, Elliot as well, man. Advance, advanced playmaker is going to have to be his role now. So <laughs> we're really, really going for it. And uh, the fullbacks going to... I don't really need to do that on personalize. Yeah, uh, wingbacks. Uh, wingback on attack. Jordan Richards, could he play that as well? Uh, yeah, yeah, we need to. We need to get them attacking anyway. So... Let's confirm those changes. Come on. Let's make this exciting. Let's just make it an exciting game for you guys as we head towards the latter stages. Come on, at least make it exciting. I guess, come on. I don't want to be a bad loss. I concede another. We're trying to score. And why does this injured guy come up and... Oh, it's disallowed. Sorry, I didn't really look at the... Yeah, linesman there. I was just too frustrated <laughs> that we concede. So, in the end, it's good defending, catching him offside. But it's not good enough. It's not good enough. Where's where's our chance, mate? Where's our chance? Where's our highlights? I can't go more than this. Unless we go three strikers. We're going, we're going more. But it's too... See, I told you, too late this time. But 
Who do we bring on? No, we we can't because we don't have like a third. Okay, I've got to think about this a bit, man. Like, do we take off Craig King and put Warsfold? Okay, put him in the middle there and put him as a poacher. And so again, we're trying. We're trying to do something, and then Simmons. He can be advanced forward, two advanced forwards and a poacher. Uh, James Catton, he can't play, uh, let's put Chaney, let's put Chaney on for Catton, and Chaney's going to go there, yeah, again, a very weird tactic it looks like, but we need to push players forward, essentially, so, uh, we look for the overlap, they're not really overlapping, it's more we just want them to get forward, so, <laughs> yeah, it's not really overlapping at this point. And, yeah, we'll just leave the other subs. I think this is... Like, I feel this is as attacking as I could potentially go with all the options. We'll take use tighter marking off as well. Roam from positions a little bit. We're trying to go for everything right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that... Uh, maybe we'll go more narrow. Like, go through the middle with pump the ball into the box. You know, I'm just trying to get everything line up together <laughs> in terms of that. But maybe it's just a game we're not going to score. Like, we've got a couple... Like, away from home, we've got some losses. So, it's just... Come on. Sk give us a chance, you fucking... Ah, uh, there's the rage. There's the rage. F I'm just frustrated because you we're not getting anything. W <sighs> come on. That's frustrating. So, we had more shots on target. Oh, that's a fucking lie. <laughs> show that in the highlights then mate we had more shots on target more shots in that no that doesn't feel like that we didn't have that well they had more click at chances maybe our chances just weren't good enough that makes sense but at least i don't even know what we're doing give me a give me a like an idea mate the terrible terrible performance but <laughs> The thing is, we've done really, really well this season. And, yeah, don't forget, we're in January 2020 now. So, new year we've hit. Um, like, we've really overachieved. Like, that is for sure. Look at... take Club finances is good. But if we go into the board's confidence and if you go into competitions... Yeah, the Vanarama National League, we're killing. Yeah, take a look at that. Um, they still expect the team to finish in top half of the table. But, yeah, we're in... A, a place for the playoffs but when we play against some of the better sides see stockport's up there they've got a fair amount of wins and they're fighting for those positions so yeah hey yeah, it's it's not gonna it's not gonna be easy uh, but i'll be honest you can see a trend last three away games all losses so that's not too unfamiliar last one we can see well, before this one we just played but at home at home we do very well and hey maybe we need a bit of uh, more supporters coming over I don't know what, why is that. It's just that's how it, I think. I feel that's just how it's added into the game. It has to be harder for you away from home, and in the lower leagues, I feel that's pretty extreme. Uh, as you can just see from the fixtures, like look at our fixtures, and you see it right there. And when we were winning a lot of games there, look three away a row, <laughs> and in a row, and yeah, like all draws, like we were struggling to win when we were playing better as a whole. Uh, oh, we were playing very well as a whole. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Again, the other FA Trophy, that's Hungerford. We should be able to beat them. They're in near the bottom in the uh, National League South. So, yeah, guys, let me know if you... Like, even from the last episode, that was like the last FA Trophy I was uh, Macclesfield. Uh, yeah, it's really, as you see, it takes me a while to play these games um, and just to sit down and play it because I've got my Wolf series as well. So I'll probably get, yeah, let me know if you want to uh, see an episode of that tomorrow. I'll try and record that. Just, yeah, guys, I, I, I'm very busy. I'm very busy outside of YouTube as well, considering how YouTube is going. This is like a downtime normally anyway. So I'm usually busier outside of YouTube this time in the year. Uh, uh, as I can just make, like, sometimes if I do a, a FIFA 19 news video or something like that when features get announced, and I've even done some of those already, just talking about FIFA 19, and they do a bit better uh, than my Football Manager content. So, yeah, all that is into consideration. But like I said, I want to see the interactivity up on these videos. I'm just going to experiment with other videos as well. Like, I did a couple experiments, if you watch them recently. Uh, that, was with the, that was the Arsenal 
the new Arsenal manager, Unai Emery, and yeah, those videos did a right than the videos in this series. So yeah, those kind of things I keep into consideration. But anyway, um, for the reasons, <laughs> see, that's why I redid this episode because I felt I talked about too much of that. So I'll cut it there so it's not too much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.